Hi guys, Artie here. Not too long ago, I was watching an assortment of The Simpsons Season 35 episodes on a totally legal site, and a certain episode sparked my interest the most. That being The Tipping Point. In this episode, Homer becomes addicted to tipping after accidentally tipping a waitress $10,000 because of social pressure, and the townspeople start treating him more favorably. I can't believe it took the show this long to tackle the social construct of tipping. If you've been living under a rock or aren't from the US, tipping is usually done at restaurants, diners, bars, and more recently, has expanded to local businesses and shops for some odd reason. It's technically optional and customary, but the social pressure is what pushes people into tipping a modest amount. In reality, it's very unlikely the cooks or any of the staff will spit in your food if you don't tip because there are security cameras, and instead, you'll just get glared at by them. Without further ado, the start of the episode involves the whole family doing a year's worth of doctor's visits because their insurance runs out the next day, and it is the last day everything is free. To make up for the tiring day, Homer treats the kids to desserts, but realizes every parlor he goes to expects a tip, so he reluctantly does so. Even a self-serve yogurt place expects a tip, even though there is no service. Later in the day, the family goes out to eat at a library that was turned into a pub, and after the meal, Homer realizes that they charge both a service fee and a tip for gratuity, which annoys him. I want to point out that a gratuity on top of a service fee is illegal in some places across the country. It's ridiculous and overbearing to have a tip on top of a service fee. Where is the service fee even going to? Anyways, the start of Homer's tipping addiction is when he accidentally writes down 10k, when he was actually trying to tip only a dollar, but put OK at the end out of passive aggressive rage. The combination of the thanks and appreciation he gets from the restaurant staff for the miscommunication, and the fear of being beaten into a pulp if he clarifies it was a mistake feeds into him, so he starts tipping like crazy. After Marge scolds Homer for giving into his fears and not taking back the tip for the sake of their financial situation, he heads back into town and is mobbed by onlookers for his unintentional gratitude, which pressures him even more into tipping and this is where it becomes out of control. He then becomes addicted to the gratification of people treating him like a king for the content of his wallet, rather than the content of his character. There's even a gag where he goes as far as to tip an ATM. When Homer comes home later that day, Marge finds out about the outrageous overdrafts on her phone and demands Homer to set things straight for the sake of their family. Later in the evening at Moe's tavern, he does the right thing and pays with exact change, but Moe manipulates him to relapse back into tipping in a really dirty way. He is driven to tip even more, but all the shops are closed. He snaps back into reality when he looks through the window and sees the rest of the family struggling to pay the bills. So he runs over to Sandy's houseboat, the waitress that he overtipped earlier, in the hopes of sorting it out. When Homer makes an awkward comment upon arrival, she pushes him into the water and realizes that tipping is all about money money money, rather than genuine hospitality, and then sinks under. The next day, he wakes up on a fishing vessel in Little Europe a land where tipping is forbidden and instead all products and services are paid at the printed price, face value. Because of his newfound love for the European mindset of not tipping, Homer decides to start a new life there until Lisa tracks him down and convinces him to come home and inspire Springfield to let go of tipping. In the final act of the episode, Homer gives a speech at the Servers Guild of America, of all places, on how American society should abandon tipping in favor of paying waiters and staff a decent wage, so they don't have to rely on tips, which are a much more unpredictable way of earning money. In his imagination, the crowd goes wild and tipping is abolished. But in reality, Homer is booed and beaten up because either the audience takes it the wrong way, or they want to keep tipping because of how arbitrary it is and how easily it can be taken advantage of. At the end of the episode, Marge comes up with the idea that Homer should get a job as a waiter at the pub from the beginning of the episode in order to defeat his tipping addiction and to pay off the debt using the tips from other overspending customers, and he agrees to it. They may not have defeated tipping culture, but they are taking advantage of it. And there you have it. It may not be the best episode in terms of characterization, but the story and messages about tipping culture are its strength, as I have not seen many other shows tackle this issue yet. The most interesting part of the episode has to be the montage of Homer tipping in unconventional ways, such as when he tipped the ATM and overspent on a coffee just to immediately toss it into the trash. Also, the Little Europe locale is pretty cool. They should feature it in future episodes. The funniest part of the episode had to be when Bart shows Lisa, Mom and Dad in car bait and switch videos, which convinces her that their parents are taking them to Krusty Land instead of the doctors, which turns out to be false. One of the videos is Flanders saying, we're not going to Krusty Land, 
We're going to church! And then Rod and Todd act all excited for it. I almost forgot to mention Bart in the therapist's office pretending the couch is a roller coaster because of how bummed out he was that the doctor's office was not Krusty Land. It's a solid episode. Ever since around season 33, the show has improved significantly. I thought I'd never see the day. Sorry, Pie Guy rules, but it turns out you were wrong about how The Simpsons will never get better back in 2016. The show may not be as good as it was during its height in the 90s, but solid nonetheless. One of my only criticisms toward this episode is that the song toward the end sounded a bit preachy and I felt like it could have been done a lot better. Also, them trying to be hip with the choice of music also rubs the wrong way. It seems outdated. Not to mention, the episode closes out with Homer getting a second job in the service industry, which is obviously not going to cover the tens of thousands of dollars he blew. It's the most realistic ending, but they could have gone with something less practical. To be honest, I'd rather have what we got instead of the Simpsons family having unrealistic amounts of money and being able to go on an infinite amount of vacations. Like the late 2000s and 2010s episodes, it's more realistic this way, and like how the show was back in the 90s. Not relating to this episode specifically, but a good amount of recent Simpsons episodes will not have the intro sequence, let alone the couch gag, immediately cutting straight to the episode. I'm not sure if this was done so there's more time to tell a story, or if the episode's runtime was too long so the intro had to be cut. I know it's gotten repetitive after 35 years, but I still like the intro. Yeah, tipping is either very rare or unheard of internationally, since other developed countries pay a reasonable rate. Also, tipping is actually considered rude, depending on the country. I don't normally get into politics on this channel, but tips are an excuse for bosses or managers to not pay their workers a living wage and pass it on to the customers. I also don't trust tipping through screens or those swivel tablets. I would rather just give the worker physical paper money as a tip, because with a button on a screen, you don't know who or where it's exactly going to. Not to mention, the percentages seem daunting to average consumers, so you're better off putting in a custom amount, or only tip if the service is exceptionally good. There's no need to keep on perpetuating tipping culture. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, notify, and check out other videos on the channel. You may like them. What are your thoughts on tipping culture and how do you handle tipping? Let me know in the comments.